Hey guys, today we're going to make some bouncing eggs. I'm going to try it with a normal egg, fresh one, and a boiled one. And we're going to put in some food coloring as well to see what effect it makes. So we're going to need some vinegar to pour over the top. We need just enough to cover them. So I'll pour it in. It's going to take about 24 to 48 hours for the shells to dissolve. But I'll show you the progress as we go. And I'm going to make one. Let's make the boiled one green. So add a couple of drops in there. Let's go with five. Pretty cool already. Hmm. And then let's make the fresh one. Let's go purple. So we'll add three drops, four drops of red, and a couple of drops of blue. See the mixing. The red and blue look pretty cool over there. Hopefully it mixes to make a purple. You can already see a few bubbles from the vinegar reacting to the shell the shell is made out of calcium so and acidic things break it down where vinegar is pretty acidic so i'll let that do what it needs to do and come back and show you tomorrow hi guys and welcome back it's been 24 hours and this is how they look it's still bubbling a bit. And the purple one. And on top. It's all foamy. feels a bit hard. So I'll try the other one. This one's definitely soft. But I think I'll leave it in. So I'll just leave it for another day and hopefully the green one will dissolve some more and the purple one will stiffen up a bit more. So see you then. Hi guys. So it's been 48 hours, so it's the second day, and let's see what the results are. First the boiled egg, still feeling a bit hard, so we'll take it out, Dry. 
and it's softer. Stretch it down. So let's rub off some of the top so there I, I rubbed off some of the top and you can still peel it so it still hasn't gone through it's definitely more rubbery but it hasn't totally dissolved the shell Okay, so the first one being the boiled egg, I'm not sure if it was very successful, but let's have a look at the fresh egg that we put in here. It hasn't gone see-through. Maybe if I rub it some more. So here's the egg, once it was cleaned up a bit, semi-translucent, very squishy, shine a light on it, see how it looks inside. So now it's time for the bounce test, doing it on a glass surface just in case we need to. So we do squishy and here we go. It's pretty bouncy. So it definitely bounces. So it still bounces. So it's got a pretty good bounce. It seems to be getting weaker as we bounce it though. So I'm guessing some of the vinegar, I'm guessing some of the vinegars coming out as we bounce it. Oh, 
pretty cool when you shine a light on it. So from that experiment, we can see that doing it with a fresh egg works pretty well. The boiled egg over here pretty much was just a boiled egg because you peel the shell off anyway. Some of the color went in, but most of it stayed on the shell. Inside the shell. And does the boiled egg down? Not really. It's not as well as this one. And you can see the size difference. There's a boiled egg, there's a fresh egg, and then they bounce together. That one definitely has a better bounce, even though it's leaking.